day one. By the way, this is my Airbnb. This is my bed, a little couch area. I think it's 6 a.m., I have no idea. Now I have to go to the press office to get all my passes and tickets and things like that. And then after that, I'll see all my friends. So yeah, I'm gonna take a shower and then get ready for the day. I'm so excited. Guys, so I am all packed. This is what I'm wearing today. It's from J. Crew. This is from Banana Republic. It's just a plaid shirt. These jeans are from Hollister. I obsessed with Hollister jeans. They fit me so well. Made me feel like a movie star. And the shoes are J. Crew. And I'm all packed up. I'm gonna call an Uber. I'm a little bit late. I have to drop my bags off at a hotel that's downtown. It's only five dollars. Drop your bags off. So I'm gonna go do that. And then yeah, on my way to Tiff. Day one. Day one, guys. So excited. It's gonna be a good day. All right. Talk to you guys later. Just keep breathing and breathing and breathing and breathing. Drop my bag off with those gentlemen back there. It's like, it's, it's alive. I really have to get to the press screening, but this is so much fun. It's the morning, people are camping out. Festival's just getting started. And so for over there, that's where like, people walk the red carpet and then press stands behind there. All right guys, so just got my press tickets for Star is Born. So excited to figure out like, where my phone is, but I'm so happy. Later. Okay, so I didn't get into the press community for A Star Is Born. It's okay, like I'm still gonna be able to go to the press conference. The reason why I wasn't there at like 5 a.m., like I probably would have. I couldn't get here in time in order to go to the press office to get my press stuff. And they don't open up until 8.30. So even if I had like been at the press office at 8.30, had gotten in line and done all of that, I still wouldn't have gotten in. Today's still gonna be amazing. Oh, I didn't put you guys in. I lost my phone. So I hope I left in the Uber. I think I did. But whoever has it, I hope that they left it at the hotel up here. You know, it's a, it's a festive, it's a festive morning. I feel like it's like 1995. Like I was using a payphone in there. I was like, how do you work this? Things aren't gonna always come easy. This is gonna be such a beautiful weekend. Something amazing is gonna happen this weekend. And you know, I had to go through some struggles at the beginning, which is fine. As long as I know that everything's gonna work out at the end of the day. Because as I told my cousin Remy, if you're watching this, shout out to you. Everything happens for a reason with a purpose in time. And everything will be okay in the end. And if it's not okay, then it's not the end. So that's what I always tell him. A few moments later. Spotted Avanda, she's outside the hotel. Hey, did you just get here? Yeah. Oh Who? Elle Fanning and then Max. Max. Handmaid's Tale. Excited, guys. I got my phone back, by the way. Getting into our lift. So cool. Hello. Avanda's right. with me. Hi. Now we're heading to the Elgin Theater. We're going to go see Vox Lux. All right, we're here. <laughs> we're like celebrities. <laughs> Holding up traffic. Oh my god, all these people. All right guys, so for this screening, it's um, assigned seats, so we're definitely getting in. It's like the longest line ever. It's like the whole city block. This is crazy, we're on another city block. Following you. Thank you. Guys, we're off to see Vox Lux. It's gonna be good. Two hours later. What's up, guys? Trying to update you as much as possible. Just gotta have Natalie Portman's movie. I'm not gonna comment on it. I told you guys. If I don't like love something or even kind of like something, I just won't talk about it. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm I'm a happy person. Like I love happiness and things like that. So like when movies are like really really dark, without a like a full circle moment, I'm just not really into that. So. Yeah. Shoo shoo. Shoo shoo. Guys, look at this line. It's insane. This is the rush line. But we're all the way up here. I think we're number like 20 or 30 or 50 or something. I don't know. But I'm excited. <laughs> Guys, so we're currently in the rush line for Beautiful Boy. Don't know if we're gonna get inside. Only one person went inside from the rush line, but they were like given a ticket by somebody else, so we hope that we get in. See the CN Tower by me. Guys, we're so close. Nervous. So close. We just wanna go in, guys. So close, so close. Hope I'm not jinxing it. Got our cash, it's $40. Guys, we made it. We're going into the beautiful boy screen. Friends, we're so happy. Okay, we're so happy. They said no professional camera, so that's why I'm filming on my iPad. I've never been more excited to spend forty dollars in my entire life. That's forty damn dollars. Yes. Not US, okay. Though. Yeah, not, not US. US. <laughs> 
Timothy, he's right there. So cool. So we just got our beautiful boy. It was it was really good. I enjoyed it. But anyways, we are going to the red carpet area so I can get a picture in front of the TIFF sign because I have an outfit on. I want to get a picture. Timothy Chalamet was really good in it. I got a video of him after the showing. I'll insert that here. So we're heading to the theater and uh, just trying to figure out the rest of the night. I'll keep on filling you guys in. It was just such a good movie. We had lunch one time in college, but that's it. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye. Potentially go Exactly. Oh, she's on this street. Julianne Moore. Oh. <gasps> so cool. Julianne Moore, guys. But I'm on my best friend car. Yay. Julianne Moore's over there. So cool, guys. Yeah. Okay. Is there anybody else coming that you know? Oh. Oh, she's right there. Actually, the one with the colorful dress. Oh, that's her. Where's Amanda? I don't see her. Is that really her? That does not look like her. That is not her. That's not her. That's the lady I saw in the fucking hotel. And why would why would she carry a beach bag with her? Wasn't her hair short on the screen? Yeah. That's the that's like the line for. Oh. Hey, what's up, guys? So I just saw Anthony Mackie. So excited. We thought we saw a man lift from Hunger Games, but it wasn't. So we are now heading back to the hotel, get my luggage, and then going out for the evening. And tomorrow we'll be back, so we'll be excited. Oh my God, guys! We see Timothy Chalamet. We're like freaking out. Funny thing is, I thought like all these people were like looking for him, uh -huh. but they're like, no, we're just in line for the movie. <laughs> like they're oh, literally they like, yeah, they there. just happened to be there. That was so cool. Probably not. Oh my god, so cool, guys. Oh, let's go. What's up, guys? Back in the hotel. Let's see what they have out here now. Oh, Viola must have been here today. L, my friend Avonda saw L. Really quickly, guys, I just walked by L fanning. I said hi to her. She said hi back. I'm so excited. But most importantly, Max. Oh my god, is that Dylan? That's Dylan O'Brien too from Teen Wolf. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Dylan O'Brien from Teen Wolf. I'm so cute. Okay. This is too much. Oh my god. Hey, what's up guys? So we go back to the Intercontinental Hotel right here with my friends. So cool. Dylan O'Brien and Elle Fanning were standing outside of the hotel and um, getting into a taxi. And I went up to Dylan O'Brien. I was like, man, I just like love your work. And he did a vlog recently that like made me want to continue vlogging and stuff like that. So it was just so cool like to talk to him. And I was like, oh, I watched Maze Runner on the plane to come here. And he was like, oh, thanks, man. He was like so appreciative. It's just so nice when people are nice. Like, I, I just love that. So I'm just really excited and like really jazzed. It's, it's amazing just to be here. Talk you guys later. Oh, Boston. B O S T O N. B O S T O N? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So nice. guys, we are in the taxi in the hotel sure. in downtown. Yeah. We're going to our Airbnb. The party's where you're at. Let me say. All right, guys, what's up? We just got out of the taxi. We got to our Airbnb. So exciting. Okay, thanks so much, man. Have a good night. I met Dylan O'Brien and saw Max, who plays Nick on Handmaid Tale. My dad told me to say something stupid, but I was like, I am not doing that. He was also in The Social Network, which is my favorite movie of all time. What's up, guys? So we made it into our Airbnb. This is the kitchen area. This is so nice. Is that Toronto? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got a computer. We. <laughs> Who's is that? What if you carried that entire, oh my God. Huge TV, washer and dryer, amazing bathroom. Keep calm and carry on. They're all laughing about Cardi B. We are about to get changed here. Head out, go to a party, really excited. It's not like an industry party or anything, just one of my friends, Avonda's friends, who she knows in Canada, so. It's gonna be so excited. That was so amazing. I'll try to fill you guys in a little bit later when all that happened with all the people and stuff. Oh yeah, we're heading to get dressed. Empty refrigerator. Empty freezer. Oh my gosh. Oh um, no, there's some DiGiorno, um, Penne Primavera in here. 
Oh, okay. And I gotta get dressed, show you guys my new digs. I hope you liked my outfit for today, because I did. And um, yeah, about to change it to like a sweater thing and talk to you guys a little bit later. So we're currently going out to a little party. I'm so excited. I don't get the party much. You guys like the hat or should I go without a hat? Hat on, hat off. I know a decision I'm already making, but I just wanna know. Hey, what's up guys? It is so much later. We're at Katie's birthday party. So exciting. Okay, I'm going back into the party instead of being weird, but it's been great so far. Having a great time, guys. I know, but you have a fucking digital camera? Huh? What's up guys? Meet Ben. Hey! He's in my vlog. Hey, what's up? 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 On the balcony. Do I do it right this time? No. I'm gonna get it. For so this party, I'm not doing anything except just dancing and talking to people. You could tell. This guy is nice. Okay. Talk to you guys in a second. I gotta be social again. Even I don't want to. But I gotta be social. Okay. I hear Taylor. Bye. Elephant and castle? Elephant, just... elephant and castle. Okay, elephant castle. You know what I need. Oh, Do we? Guys, I'm walking shoeless because I just bought these leather boots and like I don't want to ruin them. So it's only a five minute walk though. I'm getting poutine for the first time, guys. Do experiences. I have to be up in four hours to go to this press screen here. Can't miss it. Wow. My booty's <laughs> No shoe, no service. What? So what are you about to do? I'm about to eat poutine for the first time in Toronto. And you like it? With my best friends. I haven't, I haven't got it yet. Avonda, I like it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Am I doing it? Did I get it? No. No. They should have a Tommy or whatever they want to do. Just hold on, I'm going home. Just hold on, I'm going home. All right, there's raccoons keeping guard at the door. We're trying to walk past, but we can't. There's like another one over there. All right. It's hard to do these things alone. 